Welcome to the Friday, November 20th, 2015 edition of Ernerberry's Market Video, sponsored by Ernerberry's Prospector. In today's video, the FDA approves the sale of genetically modified salmon in the U.S. market. Then later, expectations for the upcoming cold storage report. But first, with the latest retail analysis, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. The biggest retail grocery week of the year is finally here. Stores are bustling with shoppers scrambling to fill their carts with Thanksgiving staples. In circulars this week, it comes as no surprise that turkey ads are front and center. Feature activity has risen sharply with turkeys claiming 25% of total protein ads in the week leading up to the big day. Promotions vary from low feature pricing to contingent offers based on additional dollars spent. This year, prices for frozen birds range mostly 59 cents per pound to $1.89 per pound depending on store, location, brand, and other criteria. For the complete retail picture, subscribers can click on the Retail Features link in Comtel. In other news, the FDA approves the sale of genetically modified salmon in the U.S. market. Here with the story is Seafood News staff writer Michael Ramsing. Aquabounty Technologies has finally earned FDA approval to sell genetically modified Aqua Advantage Atlantic salmon in the U.S. market. The approval ends a 20-year-long process in passing Aquabounty's new animal drug application for the GM salmon product that grows twice as fast as a normal farmed Atlantic salmon. The salmon has drawn a number of criticisms from both the salmon industry and from those who oppose the use of genetically modified organisms in the food chain. But the FDA's approval confirms years of scientific research that has repeatedly found the salmon is both safe for human consumption and environmentally responsible. Head over to SeafoodNews.com and read the complete story about the Aqua Bounty approval. Head over to the Seafood tab in Comtel for more analysis from around the seafood market. Thanks, Mike. Next up, we look at analyst expectations for the upcoming cold storage report. Here with the details is market reporter Gary Morrison. The USDA will release its monthly cold storage report on Monday. An Erner Barry Newswire survey shows analysts' early predictions. Chicken and beef stocks held in the nation's freezers as of October 31st were predicted to be up in the <laughs> latest month, while the average gas for pork tonnage was generally flat. If the projections prove true for chicken and pork figures, they would be the highest on record for that date. Turkey is seen down from the end of September due to the seasonal movement ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Combined meat and poultry stocks are expected to be down slightly from the previous month, only as a result of the outflow of turkeys. But overall supplies are seen up 20.5% from a year ago. For the complete survey results, subscribers should click on the news tab in Comtel. Thanks, Gary. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Prospector Online is a must-have tool designed to help you explore and evaluate new business opportunities in the protein market. Customize searches based on a specific criteria that fits your needs. Call or email us today to learn how you can unlock the possibilities at prospector.earnerberry.com.